Hi everyone, this is Arad from English for Everyone. And today, in this video, I'm going to work on this expression. And that is, to make up one's mind. Okay, to make up one's mind simply means to decide. To make a decision, to decide. Okay, so that's another way to say that. And over here, we can see ones in the formation of this expression. And what is it for? Well, actually, that is the possessive adjective okay this the person who comes over here is the uh, owner of this mind <laughs> okay so this is a possessive adjective adjective for mine like what like my your his her okay so we do not have this when we say this when we use it we do not use ones in the in our example in our sentence but uh, we replace it with the proper uh, prim, possessive adjective that we need, the sentence need. So if I'm talking about myself, I would say I, mm, to make up my mind, okay, or made I made my, up my mind, something like this. Or if I'm talking about you, I would say your mind, her mind, his mind, and others uh, when needed. Or simply I would say John's mind, Teresa's mind, Peter's mind, okay, so the person's mind all right and over here you can see the verb so you can change the verb to um, based on the tense if you're talking about a regular thing so make up is okay if you're talking about something that had happened in the past and it's finished so made up and other things that we have covered in the tenses okay we have covered lots of things if you haven't watched those videos make sure you or if you have difficulty to distinguish to say the difference between the tenses so make sure you watch the other videos as well okay which are on tenses so now let's look at some of these examples I mean uh, these three examples and then it will be more clear hopefully all right I haven't made up my mind where to go yet okay where to go yet all right so over here ones is my over here and make up is haven't made up so i have used the past uh, uh, present uh, perfect and the negative form so then again if you have watched the video make sure you do so uh, about the present perfect okay i haven't made up my mind where to go yet the other one says make up your mind we couldn't we don't have we don't have much time. Is that in the video? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, make up your mind. We don't have much time. So, this one is kind of ordering, okay? So, I'm asking someone to do. I'm asking someone to hurry, okay? Make up your mind means decide. Make a decision. Choose what you're going to choose, okay? Don't waste the time. We don't have much time. So, this one is simple, present. And over here, uh, ones is your okay your mind okay not yours be careful with this one so your mind my mind and other people now let's look at this one he finally made up his mind about the job okay and now i have used this one this format this time once is his i'm talking about a third person singular a male one okay and made is the past tense. so we know this structure we know what how to make these ones and now we can use a negative ordering or let's say uh, the affirmative sentences we can use it in any kind of sentence when we know these structures when we know the rules then this is not just one sentence this is uh, this 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 can be a lot of examples a lot of sentences can be used in each any uh, situation that you like okay so make sure you learn the uh when you learn the um, examples it's not just a sentence that you memorize learn the rules and then apply the rules and it will be more fun then you have a wide you have a variety of the same sentence okay Hope this has been helpful, you've learned something out of it, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.